<laughs> My Blargy and Snaggle Beast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargy and Snaggle Beast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again. Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you've him? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! Ah, you missed! So much for the famous secret agent! Shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves. And mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more Secret Agent Clank. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Belden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Velden is in the Solana Galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look! It's a new sergeant! Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them! We're all gonna die! Am I glad to see you, Sarge? We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess, that somebody is me. We gotta volunteer! Here, Sarge, take this! We'll cover you! From back there! What's the situation? The Lords have fallen back to a base in F-Sector. We have orders to go in and take him out. F-Sector? No way! Game over, man! We're all gonna end up as scrap metal! Get back in there, Trooper! We've got a planet to save! Sir, yes, sir! Sir, we have a transmission from the President! How are things on the front line, soldier? Is, is that secret Agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor. And I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of Nature's Mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be one of nature's mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. 
need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. Uh, Ratchet, we have company. Where? Behind you. Where? Behind you. Very funny. You having a good time? You trespass on sacred ground. <laughs> now you walk path of death. But, sir... Path of death! Can not be. Okay. We walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Huh? <sighs> Dr. Nefarious! They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Huh? Jeez. This guy's even dumber than- Captain Quark? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Quark! <laughs> That's it, Quark. You've had this coming for a long time. <laughs> so, Quark has completely lost his mind. Now what? Just keep the mask on. He thinks you are his new leader. Great. <laughs> Incoming call. This is Captain Sasha of the Starship Phoenix. The President has asked me to assist you. Uh, hi. I see you have located Captain Quark. Yeah, we got him, but, um, well, he thinks he's a monkey. Of course. <laughs> Bring him to the Phoenix and we'll see what we can do. Sasha out. Look at that, Clank. This ship is amazing. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. Holodeck training suite, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavix Fireball Pro controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G dance pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, you've obviously had an exhausting trip. Uh, why don't you stop by your quarters? We prepared a custom living area for Quark, so he won't get in your way. Come meet me on the bridge when you're ready. How do you think he got like this? Well, the life of an intergalactic superhero can be very stressful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're telling me this nutcase is our only hope for stopping Nefarious? <laughs> We're hosed. Glad you made it, sir! The presidential compound is on the other side of the city! Keep your head down! The Turnards are crawling all over the place! Nice shooting, sir! A second wave of turnoids just landed! They're attacking the compound from the other side! We could sure use your help! You got it! Follow me to the dropship! Agent Clank? <laughs> You're even more impressive in person than you are on the holovid! And I must say, I've never seen a chauffeur fight like you do, son. Who says you can't find good help these days, right, Clank? <laughs> Sasha's told me a lot about you. Don't get any ideas, Kit. She is way out of your league. <clears throat> Sasha filled me in on the uh, Quark situation. I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey? He has lost his memory, sir. Well, then you'll simply have to find it for him. We need our star player back in the game ASAP. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never... The city's laser shield went down during the attack. Now, we are defenseless without it. I sent out a repairman to fix it, but, but he disappeared. I need you to get that shield system back online. Yes, sir. We're on it. Hey, look, it's Al. 
Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating! What the? That's a Cork Vid comic! Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypass the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogram the graphic subprocessor. No, no, I mean, it, uh, uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive check them on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to me with a different loop. May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is the first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark... Wow. ...was already a living legend. I was beating him off with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, and robots. I mean, what do they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket. Thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Of devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig! What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean contestant, Fred. Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ready to off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. 
you ready to play? All right, let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyrannoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Force. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. I don't believe it, folks. He survived the Death Force. And here to give you your prize, the lovely Miss Courtney Gears. How about that, folks? He is better looking. Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. So I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> Time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known, Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this, but the President put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, and Helga, welcome to the Q-Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel hey! to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or, the GAM. Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that is nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan 
number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. <laughs> right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath! Incoming call. Oh no. Clank! Bubby! You're killing me! Excuse me? I'm trying to make a picture here, and Mr. Big Shot Star is nowhere to be found! I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right. I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done. I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you, weasel boy. Oh yeah? How about now? He'll figure something out. We've got work to do. Skid? What are you doing here? My code name is Shadow Dude, bro. Black Ops are my especiality. I figured you guys could use my help. Uh, thanks, Shadow Dude, but I think we've got this one covered. All right, I'll just take my hacker and go back to the ship. Hacker? Oh, well, you know, on second thought, I think we'd like you to join the mission, Shadow Dude. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! Psst. Ah! Shh! Clank, did you hear that? We are not alone. Hey, uh, dudes, I uh, forgot to feed my goldfish. I'll see you back at the... Ah! Well, if it ain't two of my best customers. Slim Cognito? What are you doing down here? I had a small run-in with the cops concerning a suck cannon upgrade that was mistakenly sold to a miner. I swear the kid looked 18. Anyway. I needed to find a less conspicuous place to do business. I take it you two are still in the market? Well, let's see what you've got. There's the ventilation shaft. We must split up here. Yeah, well, I guess it's time to put on the Tira guys and go meet my new pals. Good luck. I will assist you if I can. <laughs> Perhaps you should have read the instruction manual. <laughs> It was nice knowing you, Ratchet. <laughs> no monkeying around. Hmm. Monkeying. <laughs> we are on an important mission. <laughs> <laughs> well, what took you so long? Clank, uh, what are you doing here? You're supposed to meet me on the surface. I thought I would help. Well, you can give me a hand searching Dr. Nefarious's office. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Uh oh, look at this. The complete secret agent Clank Holovid collection. <laughs> this guy's your biggest fan. That is rather disturbing. I have downloaded an encrypted star map. Perhaps Al can decode it. Great. Let's get back to the Phoenix. Whoa. Deja vu. Ow! Oh, it's you two again. Right on schedule. This here is one of the nastiest, smelliest sewers in the galaxy. Most guys wouldn't set foot in a place like this, but me? Ah, I just can't get enough. Right. Well, we were just passing through. You can get back to whatever you were doing. Hey, if you find any sewer crystals, I'll pay you for them in bolts. I'm making something special for the missus. Sewer crystals. Uh-huh. We'll keep that in mind. Ah, fresh from the bowels of a king amoeboid.
Sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janet, you'll always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q-Force. What? This Q-Force must be stopped! Destroy them! Eradicate them! Annihilate them all! <laughs> it's on my to-do list, right after folding your underarms. Well, team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi, I was just wondering, what are the rest of you gonna be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day, but we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. Yeah, the plan is excellent. <laughs> You've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously, though, to be a true hero of heroes, you need more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind. I couldn't have done it without these massive guns! It was the biggest Tyranoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a star cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I going to do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So... This is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic! I could obliterate the lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. 
much true, sir, but you'll have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! Yellow. Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Hmm. Six path alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Planet Dax? Aha! I found something suspicious. Catching it through now. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top-secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly! Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome! So, you've come back to displace my training course once again, hmm? Actually, we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! You slackers are always looking for the easy way out! Then you can pass the course, you can have the device! Alrighty, we'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. Oh, yeah! The little man is cocky now. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling mat, hmm? They'll see how cocky you are, twisted up like a pet noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Pansies! Check it out. Looks like somebody's a big fan of Courtney Gears. Courtney who? Come on, remember that bombshell handing out prizes on Annihilation Nation? Ah, yes. Her specifications were remarkable. Yeah, well, she's not the hottest pop star in the galaxy because of her singing. That is odd. It appears this computer was recently used to edit one of her music videos. Oh, let's watch it! I, I mean, you know, it may contain a clue or something. Miss Gears may be in league with Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, who knew? She always seems so sweet and innocent in her videos. Well, except for that one with the... You know what the... <clears throat> She might possess information about what Nefarious is planning. Oh, right. And if we win that grand prize on Annihilation Nation, we'll get another chance to talk to her. This terminal should give us high-level access to all of Nefarious's project files. I found something. I am afraid it does not look good. Bio-obliterator? Huh. I see what you mean. What exactly does it do? That information has been deleted. Uh-oh. Well, where is this thing? Location unknown. However, a large transport vessel left this facility yesterday. 
It was headed for the Obani moon system. The Obani moons, huh? Well, we better check it out. How do you work this camera, whatchamacallit? Whoops. That's a boomer. Ouch! Hey, Ratchet, what's up? Hi, Skid. Can we talk to Sasha? Sasha and Quark are meeting with the president, man. They left me in charge of the ship. What? Uh, I mean, I see. Uh, well, is Al there? He's out to lunch. Helga? In the sauna. Quark's monkey, perhaps. Just tell Sasha that Clank and I are checking out a lead on the Obani moons. The Obani moons? Sounds like you guys could use some backup. I'll grab my gear and meet you there. I don't know, no, no. <sighs> Great. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for Ratchet and Clank. They'll take home a rare first edition Quark video comic. And here to present the grand prize, the incredible, incomparable, intalented Courtney Gears. If we play this right, she'll lead us right to Dr. Nefarious. Better let me do the talking. It is an honor for you to meet me. I mean, you, me, to meet you, Miss Gears. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My, my. You're even more gorgeous in person than you are on the Hollow Agent Clank. I've got a few secrets of my own that uh, might need your special investigation. <laughs> uh, yes, um, I will report your concerns to the proper authorities. Oh, Agent Clank, you always know exactly what to say to a woman. You know, I'd do anything to play a part in one of your hollow films. That could be arranged, Miss Gears, if you are willing to provide information on the whereabouts of Dr. Nefarious. Dr. Nefarious? Hmm. You have been busy, haven't you? You just get me that part, and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Excellent. Meet me at Hollow Star Studios. Episode 3, Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody, <coughs> somebody ordered pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known! You're no match for the likes of me! <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no! Of course not! Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class! Uh, I always hated biology! That's right, you were that freak with the headgear. Remember how you used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old! I was always big for my age. You were 26! Say, how about a wedgie for old times' sake? I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Cover me! Oh, man down! It's all right, Skid. The fight's over. Yes! I mean, no. That blows, man. I would have been here sooner, but I, uh, I encountered some heavy-duty resistance. Enemy troops? Well, uh, not exactly. The drive-through, 
Galaxy Burger was wicked slow and... Anyway, looks like that last moon is surrounded by an Omega-class disintegration field. Whatever's going on out there, it can't be good. If I had the right tools, I could hack into that generator and shut the field down. Hey, lucky for you dudes, I brought this. Stand back, bro. I'm like a trained professional and stuff. Don't try this at home. Oh, man, it's busted. Oh, wait, never mind. Incoming call from the Galactic Rangers. Sarge, Blackwater City is under attack! The noise came out of nowhere. The situation is extremely, uh, it's, uh, well, we're, we're pretty much hosed, sir. Rock my eyes! Ah! Sir, requesting immediate assistance! Whoa! I guess I'll be canceling that hoverboard trip to Blackwater City. The Rangers need our help. Let's go. Uh, I'll, like, catch up with you guys. I think this lock is gonna take a while. Okay, give us a call if anything comes up. Jeeves, activate the cloaking device. With pleasure, sir. Now you see us, now you... Oh, crud. It. You've disgraced my set for the last time, kid. Take a basket weaving. You're fired. Get me the monkey. I'll see you at the trailer, Clank. Agent Clank, meet your new sidekick. All right, forget the chase scene and go right to the grand finale. You did read the script I sent you. Uh, uh. First, you narrowly survive a series of death-defying stunts, yada yada. You defeat the terror of Talos, yada yada yada. Finally, you rescue the Baroness, played by the lovely Miss Courtney Gears. Okay. And action! All in a day's work. Cut! Print it! That's a wrap, people! Pure box office raritanium clank! Even the critics are gonna love it! You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. <laughs> Perhaps now you will tell me what Dr. Nefarious is planning. I have a better idea. Why don't you ask him yourself? I have a present for you, Snooky Wookums. Ah, I told you to stop calling me that! Just bring me Agent Clank! Of course, darling. Where am I? Is someone there? I see him to- Agent Clank, it is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. I have been following your exploits ever since your first mission, when you defeated the mind-stealing snot beasts from Dimension X. I believe there has been a misunderstanding. Secret Agent Clang is merely a fictional character I play on the horror Eyes! video. Eyes! Squishy Oh, Larry. I can't. It's not right. You're my cousin's uncle's son. Eyes! You are a hero to robots across the galaxy, and yet... You deny your own destiny! You choose to bow and scrape before the squishies! Where is your pride in who you are, Agent Clank? Organic life forms have as much right to inhabit this galaxy as we do. I see no reason to exclude them. Then that. I will give you a reason. Join me, and together we will rule an entire galaxy of robots. Or refuse. Remain a traitor to your own kind. And follow your beloved squishies into the black hole of oblivion! Clank should have been back by now. What could be taking him so long? Ah! Clank, where have you been? I thought something happened to you. I was... Having my sprockets lubed. You picked a fine time for a tune-up. Where's Courtney Gears? Miss Gears has left the planet. What? Well, what about Nefarious? Did she tell you where he is? Dr. Nefarious is aboard a star cruiser called the Leviathan. Um, okay. Nice job, Clank. So, I'll just call Sasha and have her track down that star cruiser. Close 
one, Sarge. Thanks for the backup. I tripped over these gravity boots while I was running from the Tyranoids. I believe they're your size. Yo, dudes! Hey, Skid. How's the stakeout going? Awesome! A few minutes ago, this totally tricked out space limo rolls up, and dude, you won't believe who was in it! Courtney Gears! Oh, uh -oh. were you spotted? No way, man! I've been staying out of sight, keeping a low profile. I'm like a shadow, dude. And you're sure it was her? Totally! She even autographed my t-shirt! Oh. You know how much this thing is worth? Skid, get out of there! Hold on a sec, bro. Somebody's coming. Hey, if you dudes are here about the shirt, the bidding starts at 300 bolts. Whoa, chill out, man. Hey! Skid's in trouble. We better get back to the Obani moons. This is the testing laboratory for the Bio-Obliterator. Let's see what Nefarious has been up to. Whoa! Like I never knew you were this kinky, Miss Gears. Don't you ever shut up. Okay, I'll zip it. Man, the guys aren't gonna believe this! Like, destroy all squishies, dude. What? They turned Skid into a robot? That's impossible! Not for Dr. Nefarious. Don't be afraid, Ratchet. The transformation doesn't hurt. <laughs> Much. <laughs> Besides, I think you'll enjoy being a robot. Let's see if you can fight better than you can sing. One disposable pop star disposed. Mm. <laughs> uh, you okay, Clank? Transmission from the Phoenix. We've located Nefarious' star cruiser. It's refueling at the Zeldrin starport. Quark is already on his way there. It might be a trap. I think Courtney Gears was setting us up. Even so, it could be our only chance to stop Nefarious. We'll meet Quark at the starport. Be careful, Ratchet. Come on, Clank. We'll come back for Skid later. Uh, like, destroy all squishies and stuff. I thought we agreed to put that jungle business behind us. It was mating season. How could I have known she was your sister? Uh, <laughs> uh, how long have you two been standing there? Too long. Well, <clears throat> stop lollygagging and let's get to work. We'll use this shuttle to infiltrate the Star Cruiser undetected. Once on board, we find Nefarious and finish the job. You fellas ready? Shotgun. Ah. Hey, what are you doing? Move over, I'll try. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather make it there in one piece. Stand down, soldier. This is your captain speaking. Captain, my... No, no, no. Wait! No, don't sit on the flight stick! It's too quiet. I don't like it. Once again, my brilliant plan has got the enemy completely unawares. <laughs> Message received. What's that, Clank? Nothing. We'll have to split up and search the ship. Just remember, Nefarious is mine. Unless we get to him first. Come on, Clank. Let's get some payback for Skid. Come in, gentlemen. We've been expecting you. The riffraff have arrived, sir. Captain Quark! You've put on a bit of weight since last we met. Yeah? Well, Courtney Gears didn't seem to mind. Quark! That's what makes it so good, Janice. Feel it. My heart is pounding like an anvil. This is the best part of my day. I love the last laugh. I lured you here so I could witness your demise. <laughs> Undisturbed sequence initiated. Prepare to die. <laughs> Lawrence, teleport us out of here. Of course, sir. This ship could explode any second. I think I spotted something important. I can't leave without it. I'll meet you back at the shuttle. Come on, Quark. Hurry up. We must leave now. <laughs> Not without Quark. You would have waited for us. I think. Good for him. Wait! We are all 
all very glad that you made it back safely. Did you detect any other craft leaving the Star Cruiser? Uh, an escape pod? Another shuttle, maybe? Anything? I'm sorry, Ratchet. We heard the whole thing over the comm link. You had no choice. Captain Quark died a hero. We would frolic in the fitness course under the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Captain Quark had so many um, uh, wonderful qualities, I just don't know where to begin. Such as? Oh, uh, okay, uh, he was really tall, and, uh, and he had a unique fashion sense, and he had a really big chin with uh, kind of a sort of a well, you know, a butt shape. Uh, I, well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. <laughs> I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero. Brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. Captain Quark may be gone, but his indomitable spirit of heroism lives on in each of you. I know the Q-Force will make our fallen captain proud. Carry on, men. Th this came in the mail for Quark. <laughs> it's chapter four of the Quark Van comic series. <laughs> he want you to have it. Thanks, Al. You know, this could give us a clue about what Nefarious is going to do next. Episode four, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But Janice, I am Engelbert. Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Guten Tag, Captain Flabby. Uh, Helga. What are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt! You have plumped up like a giant green breakfast! <laughs> it is time for the fitness course! Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis... The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark! <laughs> Quark! I'll get you for this. Sorry, what's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. What? Uh, seems the script is missing a few pages. <coughs> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as... Uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Metropolis! That's where Nefarious is gonna strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. It's already started! Dr. Nefarious must be around here somewhere. You sure everything's okay, Clank? Maybe Alice should take a look at your circuitry. How do you like my special creation, Clank? I call him... Clunk. Your dopey friend seems to be quite fond of him. Say, maybe they'll change your show to Secret Agent Clunk! <laughs> Did you hear that, Lawrence? You put the wit in twit, sir. Yes, I do, don't I? <laughs> Today, 
you will witness the dawning of a new era. For years, I plotted in secret, suffering endless disappointments. But soon, it will all be worthwhile. You will never succeed. Ratchet will put an end to your madness. The only ending in Ratchet's future is the end of his own life. <laughs> and you will have a front row seat. <laughs> it is time, Lawrence. Time to unveil the true future of this galaxy. The future I have chosen! Oh, sorry. Did you say something, sir? The activation device! Now! Behold the final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! Oh dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? My mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. By all means, sir. Carry on. <laughs> Look, Clank, it's Dr. Nefarious and that butler guy. And they've got Clank. They're uh, holding you prisoner. How about that? <laughs> I guess I should be feeling pretty stupid right now. I don't suppose there's any chance he's the evil Clank. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> I've been laughing so hard today, my sides ache. I must admit, Ratchet, you've proven to be a far more worthy adversary than that imbecile Quark. Alas, I have a galaxy to conquer. So, our game must end here. It's a shame you won't live long enough to see the rest of your kind exterminated. <laughs> well, you get the idea. I am sorry, Ratchet. This is all my fault. Knock it off, Clank. Nefarious did this, and he is gonna pay for it. For Metropolis and for what he did to Quark and Skid. You and I are gonna make sure of that. Come on, let's get off this planet before we end up dead. Or worse. Just hours ago, bio-obliterators devastated Metropolis. The devices have since disappeared, and their current location is unknown. Galactic citizens are in a state of hysteria, reacting to news that Dr. Nefarious is planning identical attacks across the galaxy. We're live from Planet Marcadia with the Galactic President. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. And of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half robot myself. I don't believe this. Everyone's acting like Nefarious has already won. Maybe he has. If we don't find those bio-obliterators soon, we're all gonna be robots. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Wait a second. Before the Star Cruiser blew up, didn't Quark say he was trying to find something? Yeah. It's a long shot, but I guess it's worth a try. The cruiser went down on planet Zeldrin. We'll go check out the crash site. Maybe we can find what Quark was looking for. Hey, it's an escape pod. It must have come from the Star Cruiser. And look! Footprints! Someone else made it off that ship alive! We must have just missed them. This pocket crotchetizer is still warm. Ew. A call was recently made using the pod's emergency communicator. There is a recording. 
Supernova taxi. I, uh, I need a cab to come get me right away. Whoa, this must be my lucky day. So where can I pick you up, sweet cheeks? Uh, I'm, a, <clears throat> I'm on planet Zeldrin. Just look for the gigantic red star cruiser. You can't miss it. Red star cruiser, eh? Yeah, you sound like a girl who knows how to party. What say you and me go to the cyber disco later on? Watch it, buddy. I mean, don't get fresh with me. Well, sorry, lady. I couldn't help myself. I mean, a woman like you in a dress like that. Oh, this? This is just something I threw together. <laughs> so where you headed? I'll tell you that when you get here. And if you keep this quiet, there's another five volts in it for you. Oh, one more thing. You have no spare charge pack for this thing. E20 crotchetizer, huh? This gets better every second. I should have known. What? That Quark had his sister? Huh? No, no, that he's still alive. That was Quark. Oh. But why did he not report back to the Phoenix? Because he wants us to think he's dead. I don't like it, Clank. Until we know what Quark is up to, we should keep this quiet. If the Q-Force finds out that Quark ran out on us, they might lose hope. I understand. I do not like it. But I understand. Hey, what's he got there? It is a data disk. Quark must have taken it from the Star Cruiser. That must be what he went back for. Let's get back to the Phoenix and decode it. Hi, Sarge. Uh, we were wondering if maybe you wanted to come hang out with us on planet Iridia. Um, it is H-22's birthday. We're having a party. I don't know. Sounds more like a battle than a party. I told you we wouldn't go for it! You guys just hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, Al, what's up? Let's see. The neural matrix of this autonomous simulacrum retains an imprint of the template's original psyche embedded at its core level. Um, you lost me after... let's see. He means it may be possible to reverse the process. Dude, 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 what a trip. Cool, I guess. Uh, Al, we recovered a data disk from Nefarious's cruiser. Can you decode it? Of course. Hmm. Yes. Ooh. Omega class asymmetric encryption. <laughs> Finally, a challenge worthy of my skills. Oh, by the way, we found something interesting in Quark's quarters. Hey, if it's another crotchetizer, I don't even want to... It is a Quark vid comic. Specifically, it is episode five of the Dr. Nefarious series. But as everyone knows, only four issues were ever published. Not even my pals in the Quark Cadets fan club have ever heard of this issue. And those guys are real geeks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I sure do. Thanks, Al. We'll check it out. This is the true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized, uncensored, and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Pure discretion is advised. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so, Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But he was dead wrong. Bottoms up! Somebody say something. What took you so long? I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think they really add life to the space. Never mind that now. Grab Quark and let's get out of here. Of course, sir. Oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. <laughs> Where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. Using his antenna as a lockpick, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. But his escape did not go on motors. Uh oh. After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, Quark dropped out of the public eye. Truth is, 
Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrifying that Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't receive us, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. There, that should do the trick. Go ahead, take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadful, sorry. Laura! Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days. I should have known Quark was full of it. But why would Quark lie to us? Dude, Quark is bogus, bogus, bogus. You can ask him yourself when we see him. According to this vid comic, Quark has a secret hideout in the Thran asteroid belt. I've got a hunch he's there right now. <laughs> He says he wants to come with us. I don't think that... Oh, wait a minute. You speak monkey? Oh, just enough to get by. <laughs> now what? He says you have ears like a Florana dung beaver. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Let's see if he's still laughing when he finds out his pal Quark is working with Nefarious. Major bogus. Surely Quark would never... He teamed up with Drek, didn't he? And I know I don't have to remind you about that protopet business. Who knows what he's capable of? Hi, Quark. Hey, Sarge! Over here! What the hell? Pretty cool, huh? It's called a warp pad. Great for running away. Yeah, I got an extra one. Hey, little buddy. How'd you find me here? We found your secret vid comic, Cork. Oh, that. Well, I don't expect you to understand. You'll probably look at me and think, I'd give anything for a body like that. For just one drop of his raw animal magnetism. One iota of his impeccable... Can we just skip to the end, please? Oh, uh, let's see. Where was I? Sexy, charming, brilliant, iron, hard, abs. Ah, yes, but despite my outward appearance of utter perfection, well, um... Deep inside, you're a cowardly wuss? No, not exactly. When I escaped from that star cruiser, cheating death by mere nanoseconds, I suddenly realized something very important. I could have died! Me, Captain Quark! Imagine an entire galaxy with no more me. And for what cause? So, a few trillion people get turned into robots. Who am I to say who should or shouldn't be turned into a robot? <laughs> You're pathetic, Quark. I can't believe I once looked up to you. Let's go, Clank. The people of this galaxy need you, Quark. They believe in you. You can give them hope. You have a chance to redeem yourself and become the hero you have always wanted to be. Ratchet! Where have you been? We were just... Never mind. The Phoenix is under attack. Our shield and... Sasha! The 40%. Life support systems are... I think they're getting... Aboard the ship. Whatever's on that disc has nefarious worry. Do anything to get it back. Hey, Hotshot. If I don't get to see you again, I just wanted to say... The signal is lost. Engage the gravimetric warp drive. <laughs> you certainly took our sleep time. Hey, it's good to see you too. Everyone okay? We're fine. You made it just in time. Any luck with the data disk? Huh. Lucky Thev. Al cracked the encryption. The disk contains a complete copy of Nefarious's battle plan. He's going to attack planet after planet, leaving nothing but robots in his wake. The bio-obliterator is so well protected, Nefarious doesn't believe we can stop it. Can we? I estimate our odds at approximately 1 in 63 million, give or take. Hey, that's, uh, well, you know, not so bad. A bio-obliterator is programmed to recharge its power cells after each attack. 
It's recharging at a base on Planet Coros right now. And Ratchet, the next target is Veldin. Look, there it is. But how are we supposed to take it out? My biggest gun wouldn't even put a dent in that thing. Then we will need a bigger gun. Yeah, right. Where are we gonna get that kind of firepower? Found it. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, that ought to do it. If you can get me inside the command center, I can override the targeting system and take control of that ion cannon. Let's go. Agent Crank! What's going on here? What do you think you're doing? After all those hollow films, there is one thing you should know by now. Do not mess with Agent Clank. The Phoenix. Nice shooting, Clank. There's no telling how many lives you just saved. But we're not done yet. Huh? Al just finished decoding the data disk. Nefarious secretly constructed a second bio-obliterator. A new model even more dangerous than the one you just destroyed. Where is it? Nefarious has a master control center on planet Mylon. We believe the last bio-obliterator is there now, guarded by an entire robot army. Then we'd better get moving. Be careful, guys. This time, they know you're coming. Ow, we're too late! <laughs> Get in! There it is! Nefarious has already initiated the launch sequence! If that thing gets into space, Felden won't have a chance! That's not gonna happen! You again? You will pay for your insolence, you miserable rodent! You'll regret! Uh -oh. Sorry, Nefarious. Your flight's been cancelled. Ah! Lawrence! Lawrence? Lawrence! How can I be of assistance? Annihilate him! Just kidding. You've reached my holographic voicemail. Leave your name and a brief message. Ta-ta! Ah, fine. I'll do it myself. I am defeated. I have no choice but to throw myself on your mercy. Really? Uh, I mean, that's right, Nefarious. Your reign of terror is finally... Lawrence! Oh, is this important, sir? It's almost time for my solo. Begin the transformation! I call it Base Odyssey. Now, Lawrence! If you insist. Specify a destination, sir. Who cares? Just get us out of here. Time's up. What? That wasn't even close to 60 seconds! Bye-bye. We're live from the star-studded premiere of the latest hollow film in the Secret Agent Clank series. The atmosphere is positively electric as thousands of fanatical fans clamor for a glimpse of their favorite celebrities.
Agent Clank. It seems your luck has finally run out. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> your tricks won't do you any good this time, Agent Clank. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, and now I am going to blow you into a million pieces! <laughs> this thing on me! Well, he got that monkey off his back. <laughs> Do not even think about it. What do you mean we can't teleport to a planet? I'm afraid we're well out of range, sir. Perhaps if you had bothered to specify a destination... When will we be in range? Oh, I'm sure something will come along in, say, five or ten thousand years. Ah! I don't believe this! I don't suppose you can play drums. Ah!